Did you ever hear of a medical clown? Leah Weiss is known as Rosie the Clown, and she's been working as a medical clown in a hospital in Jerusalem, Israel, for 10 years. Rosie the Clown wears a bright red nose, a pink tutu, and other funny-looking clothes for her costume as she helps patients in hospitals smile and laugh so that they feel better. There are many medical clowns today, both in Israel and now also around the world. It's kind of a new thing to be a medical clown, but cheering people up is not at all new in our Torah. The Talmud tells us about Rabbi Baroka, who was walking in the marketplace when he encountered Elijah, the prophet. The rabbi asked Elijah, the prophet, if there was anyone in the marketplace right then who were doing gigantic mitzvahs, huge good deeds, and Elijah, the prophet, pointed out two men nearby. Rabbi Baroka ran over to ask these two men what they did. It's simple, they said. When we see someone looking sad, we cheer them up. The two people that Elijah the prophet pointed out knew how to give love and joy with their words. They knew how to speak in a way that made people feel good about themselves. So what were they great at? Cheering people up. What can we learn from this? Using words to cheer people is a tremendous mitzvah. And guess what? You don't even have to dress up in a clown costume to do it. Try this out today. If you meet someone who seems a little sad, see if you can cheer that person up. What can you do? Maybe try a smile. Or maybe a joke. Or maybe just a few little words that show you really care will be exactly what's needed. Thank you.